right, you guys. So it's been a while. I haven't made videos in a while and I've been promising a lot of information. So let's talk about it. So since the last update, uh, I've been doing a lot. <laughs> I've been super busy. As you can imagine, two kids by myself, it's a lot to deal with. Um, but in reality, the reason why I haven't been making videos is it mostly comes down to anxiety. So the YouTube thing for me, it's something that I want to do but it's something that does give me a bit of anxiety whenever I think about it. Um, you know, my appearance, the way I talk, the things that I show, um, the ideas that I have for videos, you know, stuff like that. And I think it's pretty typical with most people to just think like, oh, nobody's gonna be interested. Nobody wants to watch any of that kind of stuff, you know? And so that kind of gets into your head and then I've been watching videos on how to be a better YouTuber and they give so much information. It's kind of insane. Hey, look, there's a squirrel over here. Ooh, boop. Got that eating. Give me one. Can you see him? <laughs> so anyways, um, you know, you, you get all this information from the YouTubers of make sure that you're shaved and talk a certain way and show a certain thing and you have to edit your videos in this way and make sure you get the thumbnail correct and all that kind of stuff is crazy to me. And, and it's just so much and the editing is not easy. <laughs> I don't care what anybody thinks, it's not easy. Uh, so I've just been having a, a bit of like uh, panic. You know, thinking about that kind of stuff. So that's what's been going on for the most part. Um, but also, I've been crazy busy. Um, and so we're going to walk around and talk about it. I'll show you some things. I know I really haven't gotten to tell you a whole lot about what's going on, what do we've got, and, you know, where I live and all this kind of stuff. And we're going to get into that. We're also going to talk about Japan, because that's coming up real soon. So this is my home. Me and the two kids, Christian and Evelyn. We live here in Chiefland, Florida. We live on 10 acres out here, and we are working on building food forest and market garden and edibles and natives nursery and so that's kind of what we're getting into so uh, as you can see we are out in the country uh, just farmland everywhere yeah we have a few neighbors you know here and there but for the most part everybody around here has at least five acres you know ten acres hundred acres you know that kind of stuff so uh, I've put in every single plant you see. So whenever we got here, it was literally just grass. And so I have done everything and still working on a whole lot more. So we got Mexican sunflower up here, which is really good for chop and drop. And as you can see, creates a really nice privacy fence as well. I mean, this is about 10 feet tall right now. Um, as far as chop and drop, you can see, I've cut a few right here. And this was just a few days ago. And they come back real quick. The cool part is every single one that you cut, every single node starts growing. And so you, it just gets bushier and bushier the more you chop it. So that's, that's kind of nice, right? So as you can see, they're real kind of tall and spindly until they get up. So yeah, they create a really nice barrier and free fertilizer. So, walk around a little bit. We've got canaf, we've got uh, toilet paper plant, moringa, tons of bananas, elderberry, loquats. We've got all kinds of good stuff. 
so still working on it as you can see mulching things putting stuff in building pathways and getting things growing getting things filled in little by little you can see the sprinkler going back there so yeah as you can see it's just been working like crazy um, over here where we've got all this going on this was pine trees at one time so when we first got here this was covered in pine trees and i'll i'll put in some pictures here that kind of shows you and as of right now i am working on cleaning up getting everything straightened up getting all the stumps out we i am building a berm that will be going completely all around the property biggest self-made berm in florida <laughs> so i've been doing all this i have uh, some local tree guys that come and drop me off some tree debris so inside of there are some absolutely massive you know 800 and thousand pound logs and stuff right down deep in the middle and then cover it up and then put some more on top um, i also have been taking videos and pictures of all that so I'll be adding some of that in as I'm talking here. You'll be able to see it. Um, so right now, we're still in the building phase, still working on it, letting it settle a little bit right now, and then gonna be adding up more. So this is going to be a new driveway coming in and around. So this is going to be set up as a food forest, but also as a nursery, so people can come and get plants here. Uh, we're going to be focusing on Florida natives and edibles. Uh, we'll have some other stuff as well, but for the most part, it's going to be all natives and edibles, um, as well as medicinals, herbs, things like that, of course. But uh, Let's go out here and just show you the, the front of the berm. It's a little more green than the backside. So, as you can see, there's a bit of weeds and stuff growing up i have to come in here and get rid of some of this like the poke weed and some of that stuff because i don't want that to be in there eventually um but as i once i finish building it i'm going to come in here and landscape all the way across the front just like i did over by the house uh, i do have one mexican sunflower in here <laughs> and that was just a stick i literally just jammed a stick right into the ground and it's working out perfect so we need some water out here though. It has not rained like hardly at all this year. So everything is just super dry and unhappy right now. No matter how <laughs> happy some of it does look, it's not. So uh, yeah, our nice dirt road. This is going to be the entrance for the entire property eventually. Uh, my entrance now is down there and I'm going to be getting rid of that. I want everybody everything coming in here so still working on the berm on this side as you can see just working my way down to the next next door neighbors so as of right now i have the tree guys come in and they drop off over here and then i'll clean it up i'll put it into the berm or whatever i'll i do with it um, and then like i said i'm taking out stumps getting all that clean so everything where you see trees and all that kind of stuff that hasn't been touched yet now i am not clearing this so don't freak out guys as you can see there's i'm i'm leaving trees in most of this is cleared because this is where the tree guys came in to uh work and get all the pine trees out of here so they kind of like cleared this little front area right here so don't worry. <laughs> Basically, every single oak uh, is going to be saved if I can save it and if it's in a spot that is okay where I'm not going to be doing something. It's um, so like this pawpaw right here. We have Florida native pawpaw. We actually have a lot of native uh, edible stuff here, which is really amazing on, on property. So this is one that I saved over from last year and it's really been blowing up since the spring looks fantastic and then as you can see we've got some oaks around and they're they're starting to take off some of the larger ones are uh, black cherry 
So that's really cool. We've got that. There's another pawpaw right there. Um, as far as edibles, we have a lot of edible stuff already on the property that was growing wild. So we have tons of muscadine grapes. So you can even see some right here. Muscadine grape, they will go all over. Um, and then we also have um, uh, Virginia creeper, which is not edible, but we have a ton of that out here too. So you can see that right here, Virginia creeper. So we're gonna be working on getting rid of all of the invasives and keeping a lot of the edibles. Uh, now, some of this stuff we'll obviously move on and take elsewhere. Uh, we don't want it all over the property. Um, but yeah. So we also have uh, dewberry, which is a Florida native blackberry. You can see they are all over the place. And that's just little ones up here. They're everywhere. So you can kind of, you can see berries right there. I'll show you some more berries in the back. There's a lot more in the back. So, uh, yeah. Still working on cleanup, as you can see. Getting this area over here all cleaned up. I'm working my way this way, cleaning out this whole area. And you can see the stumps here. These are some that I haven't gotten out yet. So they were in rows. These were intentionally planted. And again, I'll show you some pictures to show you just how intentionally planted. But every single row was about 10 to 12 feet apart from each other. Da, da, da. And there was 42 rows in between their house and where my house is. And then there was another like eight or nine rows, but, or maybe, uh, no, doesn't matter. Bunch of rows behind the house as well. So uh, there's still a lot to do. And they're, they're placed like every four or five feet. So you can see like these two, those are only like five feet apart. So some of these rows are crazy. I mean, I've taken out hundreds of stumps so far. I'll go, I'll actually go over here and show you some of them. Uh, I'll put in some, some video too. I'm going to take some videos of me pulling stumps because I have a, a stump bucket that is a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but <laughs> you'll get a kick out of how I get these things out of the ground. So, uh, this will kind of show you some of the bigger logs and stuff too. So you can see like, there's one of the stumps. There's a stump, stump. And I just chuck them right up in here. So we'll go down here where I'm still working on building. And so I had the tree guys, they've just been dropping. The uh, one guy has like a big claw, which is really cool. Uh, I'll put a video of that in too. <laughs> but he dumps right on it for me. So that's even better. So I just make the outline, as you can see, like with these big monsters. I come through and put all them in. You can see the size of some of these things. So there we go. So yeah, you can just see this is thousands. Of hundreds of thousands of pounds of organic material that's going to break down over time. I mean, yeah, that whole stump and root system, you know, and then some of the smaller stuff all the way down to just the individuals where I'm making the line. So yeah, you can kind of see as it grows, it just gets bigger and bigger and it's about, they get about, I think I have it a roughly about 15 feet wide on that side so far and that's about where i want it i don't want i don't want it to get crazy you know but i want it to be nice and thick and uh the reason why i'm doing this one privacy not the biggest reason though uh the biggest reason is to slow down the wind so we're in 9a so it does still get kind of cold here um and we can get freezing temperatures. So what this is going to do is slow down that slamming wind, make it have to go up, and that's gonna slow it down. We're gonna be planting trees all along it, bushes, all that kind of stuff as well. So as those grow up past the size of the berm, up 20 feet, 25 feet, 
that's going to slow that down and create more of a microclimate in here. And like I said, we're going to do that all the way around the, the property. So that's the goal is to create that microclimate so we can grow things that are okay in 9B, 10A, you know, stuff like that more inside obviously and once we get a bit more of a canopy up and going but that's the goal and so that's exactly what this is for um, also everything that's going to be planted in it it's going to have food for years <laughs> i mean this it, in florida as you can see i mean it looks like the beach here it is sand i mean look at it it's just sand it's literal beach sand, you know? This whole place used to be in the ocean. <laughs> so we have like no organic material. So you have to bring it in. You have to add it. And that's why I have the tree guys come. They bring me my organic material. <sighs> it's very nice. It's very nice to have. So as you can see, this area is still like leftovers from the guys who cut down the trees and that's been a while um, <laughs> so this, you can see just tree debris everywhere and it's starting to get covered over at this point but uh that's that's what i'm working on doing it all by myself one man show cleaning up and and planting 10 acres so if that interests you <laughs> You want to see if I can do it or not? Join the party. We have fun here. Um, I'm hoping that I can make y'all laugh. Hoping I can give you some good information. <sighs> hoping we can maybe get together sometime. Have some parties out here. The plan is to make this a, a teaching area. You know, so as we get the food forest and the market garden up and going, uh, the plan is to have people come out and hold workshops and do, you know, teaching weekends. So all about composting, um, market gardening, uh, how to build a food forest, permaculture classes, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. So that's kind of the goal is to use this as a, a teaching location to help others learn as well. So this will show you kind of how it was all left over, just tree debris scattered everywhere. So when they come in, they just destroy, <laughs> basically. They don't care what they run over. They don't care how they, you know, what drops and what doesn't. And again, I'll show you some clips of that right now. But, uh, you can just see stumps everywhere. There's more of these dewberries. Look at these ripe puppies. Oh. oh, I love these things too. These are my favorite blackberry for sure. The only thing about these is they are ridiculously thorny. I mean, crazy thorny. Mm. So good. Here's another cool one. Beautyberry. So we have lots of beautyberry on, on the property as well. Like I was saying, we have a lot of edibles. Now this is a neat one that I've been seeing all over. And it's super thorny. Really cool. Tell me in the comments below if you know what it is before I say it. That is Hercules Club. And those are really neat because when they get big, they get like thick, like trees. And these little thorns become massive. <laughs> and so we're going to have some of those around too. So that'll be cool to watch those get bigger and bigger. Uh, let's see, more edibles, more edibles. I'm staring at it. Please excuse me for... Forgetting words a few times, that does happen to me pretty often. There's another little point of anxiety, but uh, uh da, 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 prickly pear cactus. There we go. So these are prickly pear cactus, and they are all over as well. Really cool, and they make edible fruits. Uh, 
one thing that actually really likes them are gopher tortoises. We have those here and uh, we have a couple on property. So if we run into them, I'll have to show you. Um, I saw them, I saw a couple of them. One was following the other down the road. I'll show you a little clip of that. That was really funny. This is right outside of the house. Just a couple of turtles walking down the street. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Hey guys. So uh, they're neat. They're neat. So we'll definitely get them on on camera whenever I see them while we're out here. But uh, they like those cacti. There's another one right there. So you can see these are getting ready to make some fruits because they had flowers. This is where the flower comes out. And you'll probably see some flowers around. They're they're all over the place. Thankfully, we don't have as much as some other properties out here. Holy cow, I've seen some that are just covered in them. I would hate to deal with that. That, that would suck. Um, we have these also. These are, uh, oh man, I'm going to remember. <laughs> Something that you talk about a thousand times and then whenever you want to tell people what it is what's the word right uh, another very thorny plant but also edible um, what's really cool me and uh, Evelyn tried these the other day you uh, get rid of all the leaves and you cut up like kind of dice up like celery the stalk and then what we did we put a little bit of vinegar and let's see we heated up, i heated them up kind of like on the flat iron a little bit just a little bit and then put them in vinegar like they said on on the thing and they're all right but you know not something i would uh be dying to tr to go for <laughs> now if i'm hungry and i got nothing else i'll eat it for sure but until then you can stay right there <laughs> yeah we have a few things like that smilax we've got smilax out here which is another one that you can eat um but i mean i just don't plan to do that unless i really need to <laughs> you know so this was a big burn pit that i had i was burning some of the stuff so i could get a whole bunch of ash for the plants and so it's whew. yeah that was cool that was a lot of fun uh, i have an outdoor bathroom out back here that I built last year and uh, that one needs a little bit more work to be fully finished and completed but it has uh, solar panels has solar panels with battery and all that kind of stuff um, and then it has an on-demand hot water heater and I have a home biogas toilet that I want to get set up in there so I haven't fully finished setting the whole thing up but it's a shower on one side and a bathroom on the other real nice fully off grid you know so i don't have to worry about septic or any of that kind of stuff it's all built into that home biogas system which is really great look at all these berries oh my gosh i'm looking forward to this <laughs> i love these things they are so good they're a little seedy but what blackberry isn't, right? Um, the thorns are what sucks for sure. I mean, they, they're really thorny, but mm, they are so tasty. I love it. I love it. So 
we'll go over the bathroom eventually. I've got some work to do on it. Like I said, when I finish getting that home biogas toilet set up and all kinds of stuff. So we'll make a video out of that. Another pawpaw there. More berries. We've got berries everywhere. They're everywhere. Um, <clears throat> our little fire pit area that we haven't used in a while, as you can see, really needs to be weeded and everything. I've been burning out some of the stumps, so we just kind of, whenever I need to burn a stump, we just go have a fire over there. <laughs> so we'll go into the back here, show you the cows. We back up to about 240 acres of cow pasture behind us. So, like I said, everybody out here has acreage, which is real nice. It's so quiet out here. It's so quiet out here. I, I love it out here. And the view of the stars that we get is just amazing. So, this is an area that I kind of cleaned up last year. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up again. I did just a little bit of of uh, work out here it used to be a little thicker it was more thick like this side so this is our this is our property line along the back along the south side so i cleaned all this up so you could actually get to the fence because you couldn't get to it before so that's a house that went in about a year ago and you can see the cows out there and there's another 80 acres right on that side. And then goes all the way over past on the other side of those trees. And then all the way out to those trees way out there. So, yeah, we don't get a lot of uh, traffic out here. You don't see many cars coming down the road, which is nice. So, but uh, this... This little row of oaks right here, that's our property line on that side. And then where the neighbor's house is, thats they're basically right on their property line right there. So that's where it ends there. And then behind these trees, so all these oaks are all mine, which is nice. It's real nice to have. I can, it's so hard to get back there, but uh, we're gonna be cleaning up all that area. You know, I want to make a little kind of a retreat type of area back here, you know, for uh, people to come in for those weekends, camp, do yoga, all that kind of stuff, you know, have a nice little fire pit back here. And all these trees are going to create some nice cover in a few years. So now that they're not shaded by all those pine trees, they're really starting to grow up. So... Yeah, it's a little walk around of the of the property. I got a big shop over there, 36 by 36 shop. That's very nice to have. We'll walk over to the plant area. And while we're walking over to the plant area, I'll give a, a quick rundown of Japan while I grab some more berries. So, uh, <laughs> so Japan is has been a slow thing, you know, been a, a, a bit of a, a slow deal. If anybody knows and has dealt with stuff in Japan, they're never in a hurry. And that's okay because I haven't been in a hurry either. So from the time I viewed it to the time I close will be six months, basically to the day. And um, that's partially why I haven't uh, made any more content on the Japanese property because I haven't had anything really uh, more of an update. You know, I haven't finished the deal, although it is basically finished. I'll be signing and 100%ing and the uh, paperwork with the uh, judicial scrivener. Oh my God, look at these berries. <laughs> ADD! Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll be uh, doing all that with the judicial scrivener and the real estate agent and everything whenever I get back there. So, there's the question. When do I go back? So, it is, let's see, 
Tomorrow is June 1st. I go back July 10th. So just over a month away. We're just uh, five and a half weeks, something like that. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Um, another thing that I haven't told you guys that I'm going to shove in here and uh, see how many of you actually notice because a lot of people like to jump around and not watch. I'm getting a freaking buttload of these berries. Uh, but I'm going to tell you how much the price of it is. Now, hold on one second. This isn't um, full with all the taxes and everything, but it's close. The uh, taxes are going to be not much, honestly. Uh, taxes and fees and all that kind of stuff. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be. I'll say that. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, look how many berries is out here. You talk about jam, jelly, and just straight up berries. I mean, and this is just a couple bushes. You know, that's what I mean. They are everywhere. There, there's more over there. They're back here. They're back there. They are all over. They're all over. And they are so good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put this in there to see how many people notice. I am paying for that home, the other five buildings on the property, as well as nearly 15 acres, the asking price before any taxes or anything is 2 million yen. That's right, 2 million yen, that's it. Which at today's price is about $13,400. <laughs> now, taxes, uh, fees, all that kind of stuff, obviously is going to add to that, but not as much as you'd think. So I was thinking it was gonna be 500, 600,000 yen, you know, roughly 25%, which is higher than the norm, but I wanted to be just in case, you know, kind of thing. And it turns out it's probably going to be only around 300,000. So 250 to 300,000, all said and done, can't complain. Uh, property taxes every year work out to roughly around $500. It's insane. So I'll make a video that details this and, and says like, guess what I paid and all that kind of stuff. But that's what I paid or paying. <laughs> so yeah, so plant area is a little crappy <laughs> trailer that I got to take plants down to the um, farmer's market. So another neat fact is tomorrow will be our very first day at the farmer's market here in Chiefland. And so I think that's what also kind of gave me the extra kick in the pants to make a video. Now, I'm not gonna be really editing this all that much cause that's part of the anxiety that's been around these videos is like the editing and how much time it takes. I don't have a lot of time, you know, with the two kids and then doing all this stuff. I have to do laundry and I got to make food and I, I mean I got to do everything you know so whenever I start thinking oh it's gonna take me six hours to <laughs> and what what song am I gonna use for the intro and what song am I gonna use for the middle and do you know how long it takes just to figure out songs and like listen to them and go oh that one's not good oh no nope, don't like that it takes forever this it's crazy we'll get there not right now <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna be selling plants at the uh market so i'm going to be getting a bunch of this stuff in there we got some bananas and bamboo we've got hibiscus uh everglades tomatoes shampoo ginger sweet potatoes i mean the list goes on and on so i'm gonna start getting all this kind of stuff ready uh, we'll make a video about the whole market and everything, but that starts tomorrow. So that will be the next video. Um, 
is going to be the market. So I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Um, I, I will be updating much more often. I'm going to try to do it probably every two or three days. Um, even if it's only, you know, three, four, five minutes, <sighs> at least it's something, right? So I'm going to start doing that to kind of get back into the flow of everything. And uh, once I kind of start getting all the camera angles down and, and figured out and all that kind of stuff, because that's, again, that's part of it. Thinking about where, where do I put the tripod? Now I've got to set it up. And are the batteries full? And I... <sighs> There's a lot more to it than just click on, talk real quick, and do your thing. It takes a lot of work. So, yeah. That's what's been going on in my world. This is... This is me here. Ten acres. Food forest. Market garden. Retreat space. Teaching location permaculture we're doing it big guys I want y'all to be a part of it if you want to help out in any way shape or form let me know I'm always looking for helpers here you can always buy me a coffee if you want to I, I like coffee so uh, there's a link down there you know if you're thinking about it want to get me a little uh, caffeine shot mm -mm. Appreciate it. <laughs> Check out the sunflowers. They've been going really crazy lately. Got a great picture yesterday of a bee on one and a and a butterfly on another one. That was really cool. I'll put, I'll put that in there real quick for you guys. But uh, so yeah, that's everything right now. Um, I will see you in the next one. Like I said, tomorrow is the first market day. And it's June 1st. Very first farmer's market day ever for us. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. So, all you can do is get to work, right? Really. So, um, I'm going to leave you off with one last thing. So, something that I was thinking about that I wanted to do was kind of give a little bit of a uh, positive influence or a quote or, you know, saying, something like that. But uh, I think the first one really just has more to do with the biggest lesson in life that I've learned. Um, and that is to just keep moving forward, really. You know, there's a lot of things in life that will try to take you down. There's a lot of things that are negative, a lot of things in the media, a lot of things socially, a lot of things in your family, you know, all, all over, wars, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of things to be down about. But at the same time, there's a lot of things to be happy about. Look at this. Look at the sky. Beautiful. Birds. And that's just a few things. Family. Kids. Job. Health. Wellness. So many things to be thankful for. And so, I think the best thing to do is to think about that kind of stuff. Every day. Think about what you're thankful for. And just keep moving forward. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks. How many lies I cross for love?